What's up guys, welcome back to Night and Chopsticks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, today we're gonna try some of the fluffiest pancakes that you could find here in Orlando. So there is a place that sells, I believe it's Japanese style pancakes. So they're nice, the big and fluffy ones that were super infamous uh, a couple, I think it was two years ago on like social medias. Basically they opened a location here in Orlando. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I don't know how good this place is. It doesn't look like it has that many great stars based on the reviews that I read, but let's leave that aside. I wanna go ahead and head over there see how it is basically they sell a whole bunch of different breakfast items but most specialize in the like really fat uh pancakes so enough talking it's gonna be a simple video we're gonna go ahead and get some breakfast over there and see how it is see if it's worth it i'll see you guys next. This place, it is absolutely packed. There was literally like 25 people in line in front of us and the whole restaurant was full. I ended up getting really lucky getting a seat. I do realize now that this place, based on what I've seen, is more of a dessert place rather than a breakfast place like I thought. So that's gonna be an interesting first meal for us today. But with that said, we were lucky enough to get a table. So as soon as we get our order, we'll go ahead and dive right in. All right guys, awesome, the food's out. The smell that's coming from this, it's really eggy to be honest with you, but you know, let's check it out. Go ahead and take a look at this. All right guys, so this one right here is the tiramisu fluffy pancake. Now this right here, it has some sauce here, some whipped cream, and some fruits. I'm gonna go ahead and just start preparing this real quick. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, but most likely I'm gonna have to put the camera down to do this. So once it's all built, we'll go ahead and take a look at it and we'll dig in. All right guys, excellent. So I opened it up just so I could show you guys this because you really have to take a look at it. So this is the fluffiest, thickest pancake I have seen since we went to Japan. And unfortunately, when we went to Japan, I just, we didn't get a chance to stop at a place because this actually ended up blowing up after the fact. So it has some whipped cream on top. It has chocolate sauce that I poured on it. It has a raspberry and a very large blackberry. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and dig in. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just cut right into this. And just see how that is. It's kind of hard doing this with one hand. That's really eggy in my opinion, but let's go ahead and try this out and see how it is. All right guys, here we go. Wow, it's like you're biting down into a chocolatey little cloud. Mm. Now being completely honest with you guys, 100%, it's very eggy. With that said though, I'm still kind of impressed because even though it's kind of eggy, I'm, the one concern that I have more than anything was just that it's gonna be overly sweet. And it's not. There's my wife, she ended up getting the original. We'll zoom into that later on, but let's try this out. Mm. Hers has the perfect balance of like the whipped cream. It adds a little bit of sweetness. The pancake itself honestly has like a very slight background flavor of an egg, almost like scrambled eggs, I would say, but it's very slight. But that sweetness and the freshness of the fruit really complements it well. I'm gonna actually talk about the fruit. Let's go ahead and pull in that raspberry with it. Try it out together. Mm. Surprisingly, when you add the fruits to it, it is delicious. Oh my goodness gracious. Mm. Okay, it's excellent. So we're gonna go ahead and dig into the next one. This one's my wife's. She ended up getting an original, which is just the whipped cream, the souffle, and then, or like the pancake souffle, and then she's gonna have, you know, has syrup and fruits. This one is the banana and strawberry Nutella souffle. So let's go ahead and check this out. All right, so usually these come perfectly prepared, so it might not be the most beautiful presentation because I'm the one that did it, but it's stuffed up with chocolate sauce. You have uh, Ferrero on top. You have the whipped cream, bananas, as well as the strawberries. Now we're gonna go ahead and dig into this one as well. I still have a whole bunch of whipped cream, unfortunately, on mine, but it honestly is pretty much the same. I think the only difference is that they add the different type of fruits because the internal, wow, I really made a mess of this one. The internals look exactly the same in my opinion for these. You can see, 
and then you have the Ferrero Rocher. I mean, obviously these are all the same price, except the original, which is like a dollar less, but right, let's try this out. Yeah, they're honestly pretty much the same. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a piece with the banana, and that's it, leave it out. I figured these would taste the same, hence why I only ordered one for myself, she ordered two. But the next thing that we're gonna show you is their souffle style cheesecake, because that looked really good. Okay, so this right here is a souffle cheesecake. They have a bunch of different flavors. They have original and like a whole bunch of other ones. Unfortunately, they were all sold out. The only ones that they had today were the matcha, a mango one, which I decided not to get, and also a chocolate one. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. One thing I will notice, and I'm gonna say it, is I feel like it's pretty pricey for what you're getting, because I thought the souffle pancakes were like that big, and they're actually like this big. Even though they're thick, I just feel like 13 to 15 bucks for one of those is just absolutely atrocious in price. Maybe that's why they're getting kind of a little bit of a review bomb online. But flavors, phenomenal. If you want something unique, something different, something to try out, I would highly suggest it. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dig into these souffle cheesecakes. So as I mentioned, this one right here is the matcha souffle cheesecake. And this one right here is the chocolate. Now they do have these and they also have burnt top ones. I think these are the burnt top ones, but they also have like the really fluffy ones that aren't burnt on top, but they were sold out today. But enough talking, we're gonna go ahead and just dig into this chocolate one. It's nice and thick. It actually kind of reminds me of chocolate fudge or like just the fudge consistency. Let's go ahead and try this out and see how it is. All right guys, so this one right here. Oh wow, that is really, really good. It's definitely cheesecake consistency, just a little bit thicker and more airy in the inside, but it's still that pasty cheesecake like flavor. The first thing that you feel as soon as you stick this chocolate is an overwhelming sensation of the cheesecake, but then you get an overwhelming sensation of dark chocolate. That is pretty dang good. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. Mm. The outside, because it's a little bit burnt, it's a little bit bitter, but the inside is nice, cold, and creamy. It's honestly amazing. Let's go ahead and check the next one out. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and dig into this one here. This is the matcha, so I'm, this one pretty sure is gonna be extremely bitter, especially because it has the burnt as well. Let's go ahead and try this out. All right, guys, here we go. Mm. Oh, wow, surprisingly sweet, cooling. It almost tastes fruity, but then in that deep end, after you get that cheesecake flavor, you get that very slight bitter matcha taste, but it's not that bad. It's, it's not as bitter as regular matcha is. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and just mix them both real quick and see how that is. When you mix them both, you get these complex flavors. Oh, wow, honestly, that's delicious. I still think it's a little pricey because they're like eight bucks for each one of these or seven bucks, something like that. It's like we're in the theme park almost, but in all honesty, the flavor's all there. It's like really, really creamy, really, really cooling, flavorful. Mm, I would say it's pretty dang good. They also sell drinks. This one right here is a matcha espresso. And this one right here is the most amazing drink that I've had in a while. This is a frappuccino. It's an Oreo frappuccino, but it's really, really good. This one, they didn't really put any sugar in it, so it's really, really bitter. So I mean, if you like black coffee with no milk or anything like that, this has a slight amount of milk, matcha tea, an espresso shot, and then of course, you know, they have very slight other options of what you can put in it. Honestly, I'm actually liking it more because this is really, really sweet. Everything was pretty sweet because of the whipped cream and stuff like that, so. I mean, something a little bit bitter. I don't know, it's nice and it cleanses the palate quite a bit. Anyway, that would be it for today, guys. I just wanted to try these pancakes out and see how they were. My opinion, yes, they're delicious. They're a little bit pricey. If you guys don't care about them and you're looking more for the experience, maybe by the time you guys get here, it won't be as crazy as busy. I don't know how much the mic is capturing out of my voice today because this place is still packed. I just found out that they actually, at the time of filming, they opened the, week, the weekend before. So of course this place is packed because we're the following weekend. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I'll see you guys next Sunday. And until then, let's just keep on eating.